Nino rains help make California green, of course, but it has also helped the grass grow tall enough to become a real fire hazard this summer. CBS 13's Lee Martinez spoke with Stockton Fire and Caltrans today on the early fire prevention taking place throughout the valley. Sam Macedo spends most of his free time cutting down the grass. But it's not his grass. Macedo lives across the street. I got kids. I got four kids. So the last thing I want them saying, Dad, there's a fire out here. Stockton Fire Department says Macedo is doing the right thing because tall weeds can help spread fires quickly and across roads. And the grass is already much taller than last year. Every week there's something to do, especially with my acre and then. There's acres all over here. It's waist high grass like here in this vacant lot that poses the biggest threat. Right now it's green and lush, but in a couple weeks it's going to be brown and dry and the perfect fuel for fire. And if homeowners don't cut the grass, Stockton Fire Prevention Department writes citations. Uh, I think I sent out over uh, 700 letters out last year to people with uh, tall weed. I have two railroads, I have uh, Caltrans. Um, I'm constantly on the phone sending letters to them. Caltrans in Stockton says its crews are on it. Right now we have spray crews that are out spraying uh, weed pre-emergent alongside the roadways. And what this does is it, it helps create a fire break alongside the immediate roadway. In April, Caltrans starts mowing, and they really have to. Stockton Fire says it put out more than 500 grass fires along the highways last year. In talking to our maintenance people, what will happen a lot of times is a lit cigarette being thrown out. It still has a bit of an ember on the end. They see also broken glass at times. And what will happen is that broken glass can magnify and actually create a spark off of the, off of the dead grass or dead shrub. Caltrans says homeowners can call if they worry about overgrowth areas. And the fire department hopes more people will be proactive, like Macedo, in securing their properties. Stockton fire officials say that the city has more than 6,000 vacant lots that they need to monitor for fire hazards.